Hi guys, me again. Um, I just filmed a video but I'm in like the same clothes or whatever. But basically um, I filmed an intro for this video and I somehow deleted it which is really annoying. So I'm just going to give you a brief description um, about what this video is about and then I'll let you watch it. Um, so basically I have been looking for furniture for my room because um, we've just kind of like redecorated it. I've just got a double bed in and we were looking for furniture. Um, preferably cheap furniture because we're on a budget. Well I'm on a budget. And um, so we ended up buying a cheap wardrobe for £20 and I ended up um, painting it um, like a vintage greeny colour, like pastel green and um, sanding it down, making it look really rustic and vintage and old and it really worked well so we thought we'd do the same with chest of drawers so um, long story short my nan rang me up the other day and she said that her neighbour Sally just passed away but um, her family were just like starting to carry out all her furniture out of her house and they're basically just going to chuck it all away so my nan said um, to come on down to have a look at their furniture and see if we could take any away so I had two chests of drawers, so I ended up taking this chest of drawers that were like um, vintage, like 1960s, it was so nice, like it, it's just, it was like mahogany wood and it just had so much character to it, and obviously I wanted to um, make like a shabby, turn it into a shabby chic kind of vintage looking chest of drawers um, by painting it and sanding it down and whatever, which is what I'm going to show you in this video. So yeah, basically... Um, Continue watching this video if you're interested in furniture and, and transforming furniture and making stuff into like shabby chic um, Especially if you're looking to do it in your own room It's just a great way of saving money and you know Laura Ashley sell furniture like this But you can just for like hundreds of pounds But you can just make it yourself on the cheap if you go out and buy the furniture cheap first um, And it doesn't take any time at all like maybe a day or two um, and yeah, it's just so nice because you've put all that effort into it and you've made it yourself and it's obviously going to be one of a kind. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you do. Please subscribe and I hope you enjoy watching it. I'll see you soon. Bye. So I'm just painting the paint on in like little strokes. Um, this way it just gives more of like a shabby chic finish. I really like it because like it doesn't have to be neat. You can make it really messy and it will still look kind of old and, um, and vintage looking. So yeah, just doing like little strokes. Um, yeah. So I've just got to the point where um, I had to decide whether or not to paint these handles. They're so nice. Um, and like antique looking but I decided I would and this is what they look like I think it gives it so much more character all I did was a light brush stroke of the mint green over the top and already look how like old and um, it just goes to show like you don't have to pay hundreds of pounds at like Laura Ashley for like shabby chic antique um, furniture and you can just make your own even this bit of detailing already looks so much nicer. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to carry on and show you when I finish painting it. So you can see here that I've applied a f um, just one layer around here and it's really nice because the wood starts to show through um, but then as I start to apply a second layer you can just add it in certain sections so that in some parts you've got um, you know a fuller colour but then on the others the wood starts showing through I just like the contrast there Okay so it's day two and I let the um, paint dry overnight and this is how it's looking so far I really like it, I think it's looking really good um so what i've been doing just now is adding like white what's um white washes of paint 
just over the top just to give it more of a knocked about old look um, so yeah so this is what I've been doing with the white paint just putting it on the brush and then just dragging downwards in different areas just to give it a washed out look and then I'm just going to go back over it with a light green again so then I'm just adding the green back over the top of it and it's just nice because the white will just slightly seep through the colour like so so I'm just going to keep doing this all over this side so now that I've finished painting I'm just going to start with the sanding so I've just got like a selection of um, sanders from like a sanding machine and yeah so it's good because they've got different um, god I don't even know what they're called what's the technical term I don't know but they sand differently um, so yeah I'm just going to get on with it quickly because um, I think it's going to rain so I'll just show you how I'm going to do it. So I'm not going to do it everywhere, I'm just going to do it like sparsely all over the um, chest of drawers. So I am folded it in half just because I like this to have this line. And I'm just going to start going sideways. And you need to be really light but you see how it's just starting already to take some of the wood, um, some of the paint away and revealing the wood underneath which I really like the look of. So you don't want to be too harsh when you do it. And it's great to do this like on corners um, or around the edge of the drawers just to make them look more weathered. So I'm just going to carry on doing this and then I'll show you off. So guys, this is the final result of the chest of drawers, and I'm so pleased with it. I think it looks really good. Um, just as some like something you could find in an antique, um, shabby chic kind of furniture shop. So I'll just quickly give you uh, a tour of it. <laughs> I love these handles so much. I think they look so good, like really authentic, like old antique. Um, and so you can just see where I've um, sanded at the edges of the drawers and on the detail um, just really gives it that vintage look and I've just done the same all over really but you can also see how the um, different coats of paint have um, worked together really well like some parts you can see the wood still coming through and on others you can't and how I've just included um, like strokes of white paint now something really funny happened um, the, n the night that I finished painting it it was still drying outside in the garden, it started to rain and I was like oh my god we need to get it in so it had already been in the rain for about five minutes but once we got it in it had soaked into all the paint so all the paint was like really quite wet and so basically it was such a good thing that happened because it it kind of took off this paint and gave it this rustic worn out look and I just love it, I think it really finished the um, jaws off and you can see here um, it's like left all crackle paint and I just love the look of it. I think it looks so good. Just looks like it's been, um, you know, sat there for years and really looks authentic and old. So that's definitely a good tip. Like if you're um, wanting to do the same as I've done by painting it and then sanding it, I'd definitely um, maybe give it a bit of a spray of water over the top of it once it's, um, while it's still drying. And then you should get the same effect. But yeah, so this is the final piece and I'm so happy with it. Um, let me know if you give it a go yourself, but it's just a great way of creating your own furniture on the cheap. Obviously you don't have to pay hundreds or thousands of pounds to buy something like this when you can just make it yourself. Especially if you can get the furniture cheap before, or like me, I got it for free, so that was even better. But yeah, it's just a really nice thing to do. It's like a nice little DIY project. And um, you like you feel a real sense of achievement because like you've made it, it's one of a kind, and it gets to go in your bedroom. So yeah, hope you enjoy this video. It might have been help to some of you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.